So you're looking for the best gaming keyboard for 2018? Well in this video I'm going to recommend three fantastic cheap and uh, affordable mechanical and semi uh, mechanical gaming keyboards with uh, great build and uh, functionality coming up. Welcome back my friends Robin here from Ships Media and in this video we're going to cover the best sheep gaming keyboards for 2018 question before we get things going how much are you guys willing to pay for a gaming keyboard please let me know in the comments below now on this channel I cover a variety of gaming related peripherals such as headsets headphones mics monitors and so on so if you are in interested in uh, any of that consider subscribing all right once again i want to know guys how much are you willing to pay for a gaming keyboard let me know in the comments below now before we jump into today's topic i want to let you know how this list of uh, keyboards essentially was crafted so i've been looking at several sets of factors such as popularity by other gamers general build quality of the product the mechanical switches or whatever technology the manufacturer are using. I've also been looking at other reviews on the net, price in terms of what you get, as well as my own opinion, of course. Now, uh, gaming keyboards made out of plastic that feels cheap and low budget might not make it on this list simply because of uh, build quality and my own and other gamers' general opinions. I do believe that the game gaming keyboards in 2018 should be able to stand tall against normal wear and tear and cheap plastic has a tendency of not doing that anyways i think you get my point here with that said who am i to talk about this well first i've been a gamer since i can remember i'm a tech yankee and i've also been working in the gaming peripheral scene in the past now all links to each and every keyboard can be found down in the description now with that said i think it's time to kick things off of top three budget gaming keyboards for 2018 on place three we will find a racer or not a chroma guys if you are looking for a gaming mechanical keyboard with the keycaps close to low profile with full rgb that offers customizable lightning with 16.8 million customizable color options and 10 key rollover and you don't want to blow a giant hole in in your wallet well the racer are not a chroma is the keyboard for you then i gotta say after been trying this keyboard out i was uh, literally completely sold we all know that uh, mechanical switches they cost a lot of money and if you want a keyboard that supports all the neat and sweet features in the upper mid end segment such as 10 key rollover more on that in a second micro keys media buttons rgb built in memory wrist rest and great build if you want all of that typically you're gonna have to pay a premium for that now going back to 10 key rollover for anyone that don't know what this is 10 key rollover for example basically means that the keyboard can register 10 keys simultaneously what a word to pronounce hardcore gamers might tell you that full n key rollover is crucial and by the way full n key rollover can uh, register any kind of keys at once in theory though this isn't always true in practice for most of us whoever even casual gamers chances are you won't need more than the casual six key rollover frankly this have uh, become a bit of a marketing gimmick nowadays but anyways Razer has sort of found a magic formula designed from the ground up by themselves instead of going with mechanical switches they went with something they like to call mecha membrane a technology based on the traditional soft cushion touch of a membrane rubber dome but with the crisp tactile click of a mechanical switch at first i was a little skeptical i mean on paper it sounds kind of cheap but, <laughs> but i gotta say guys i was wrong even though this isn't real mechanical switches the uh, lower end keycaps which makes each stroke faster and more rapid together with this satisfying clicking feedback makes this keyboard so satisfying to type and 
even game on. The ergonomic wrist rest for extended gaming comfort is perfect. Well, I mean, it's fantastic. Micro works great, although I'm still not a super fan of Razer Synapse. Again, it also features 10 key rollover and the ghosting, meaning up to 10 keys can be registered at the same time for under $100. It's yours. Great value. Period. And moving on to place 2, if you're looking for a fast, quiet and high quality keyboard with the perfect balance of simplicity and capacity, the Logitech G413 backlit mechanical keyboard might just be for you. Logitech decided to go with a keyboard technology similar to a Razer's, a combo between traditional membrane rubber dome and Sherry MX switches. They like to call it Romer G mechanical switches similar keystroke feedback as with the razor you still get that clicky satisfying feedback this time on full height keycaps the short throw accusation at 1.5 millimeter is according to logitech up to 25 percent faster than traditional keyboards furthermore you get 12 programmable function keys and, and a 26 key rollover with the anti-ghosting logitech is also kind enough to include 12 additional key Keycaps so that you can upgrade critical keys such as W, A, S, D, 1, 2, 3, and 4, and 5 with the keycaps with better gripping. The G413 also features a USB pass through so that you simply and conveniently can connect any other USB peripherals and it also rocks a solid aircraft grade aluminum alloy top case. Now something guys that really caught my attention at first was the brushed aluminum magnesium alloy top and man <laughs> really sets the tone of this keyboard and it also makes it a lot easier to keep the keyboard clean as well. So only kudos for that now well is there anything to complain about well it would have been nice with the full rgb lightning of course and also a wrist rest would have been nice but for this price tag you get premium like keyboard for under a hundred bucks now what the hell are you waiting for now moving on to place one we got the corsair k55 rgb now if your budget is tight and you're looking for a high quality gaming keyboard for under $50, the K55 RGB from Corsair is what you've been looking for. At this price point, you won't find anything that comes near to what the K55 offers in terms of value. You gotta keep in mind that this keyboard costs about half of what both Razer and Logitech charges. On this board, you get the three zone dynamic backlighting with over 10 vivid lightning modes that can be customizable, a soft rubber wrist rest that uh, I personally just love. More on that a little bit later. You also get six dedicated macro keys on the very left side of the keyboard and up to eight key rollover as well as dedicated media keys with volume control. I have to say guys I am impressed what Corsair pulled off with the K55. When you take into consideration what you essentially get, I'm especially a fan of the soft rubber wrist rest. It's comfortable and I can type and game on it for hours without getting tired. This keyboard is packed with features and again thanks to its price tag it is the best cheap and affordable gaming keyboard that you can get in terms of value. And that's it guys. Now all links to each and every keyboard can be found down in the description. I also decided to throw in a few extra bonus options that uh, didn't really make it on the top 3 but options that I really dig as well. Options including both full height keycaps as well as low profile keycaps depending on your taste. Question, what do you guys care the most about on a gaming keyboard? Let me know in the comments below and also if you're looking for the best gaming mousepad as well as the best budget gaming headset or gaming headphones, have a peek down in the description. I've lined up those videos for you guys as well. Now there's a ton of videos in the pipe for you guys. If you're looking for the best gaming budget monitor, headset, keyboard, headphones, consider subscribing. Also don't forget to tap that bell icon so that you don't miss out on any uploads on my end as i said there's a ton of content in the pipe thank you so much for watching this video my name is robin on ships media until next time guys have an awesome day right bye